before the video starts, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Um, I'm going to be making more of these tutorials from now on. Make sure to let me know what tutorials you'd like to see in the future. And yeah, enjoy the video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Nadav B glow build up. So what you're going to want to do first is just drag in your clip. This already has a marker on it. You want to mark it to a song or whatever. I'm not going to be doing that because this is just a tutorial. You're going to want to bring the clip a little bit further out then. <coughs> Usually what I like to do because I do apply presets and also it just makes the build up easier. I go one frame before the gun shoots. Cut it. Then you're going to want to go to where the build up starts. So I'm going to go right here. So you cut this, go to your effects tab, look up BCC, color, colorize glow, it's going to make your screen look like this, you create an ellipse mask on the effect, so it only happens inside the effect, then you're going to want to just create a mask around the character sort of thing, nothing too complicated, just a simple mask around the character, then you're going to want to just increase the mask feather just so that your so that it's only slightly showing then you're going to want to go to mask path you're going to track the selected mask forward this is going to do this all for you you're just going to want to go to the effects inside this you're going to want to change it to luma inverse do all the settings that i do you just take a little look at what you're wanting to do. Then you're going to go here. You're going to want to grab the mask opacity, turn this down to zero, go five frames ahead by clicking shift and right key once. You're going to want to change this to 100. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab HLS, you're going to want to duplicate the clip, take this, take away BCC colorized blow on the bottom one, so it just comes in, then you're going to want to grab HLS and nest both of these, <coughs> you're going to nest both of these, grab color balance, then you're going to want to go to lightness and saturation, turn this down to like minus 30 on each. Remember to click the stopwatch to make a keyframe, then you're going to want to go back here, change this to zero and zero so it slowly eases in, as you can see. You might want to stretch the keyframes out a little bit on the BCC Colorized Glow because sometimes it does just make it a bit weird and also what you're going to want to do is grab HLS on this, you're going to want to copy the mask, you're going to want to go down to your HLS, create an ellipse mask, paste, then you're going to want to take this, <coughs> I accidentally deleted I'm going to take away that mask, click inverted, and then you're going to want to go to the color balance, you're going to want to change it to the exact same settings as before, minus 30, minus 30, minus. just like on the clip now, you can see that there is a build up there, what you're going to want to also add at the end is just some like velocity, you can add any velocity you want, I'm just going to add some my BCC velocity preset. So what you're going to show here is the build up. Obviously it lags a bit so I'm going to pre-render this and then show you guys what the product is. So that's it guys, that is the tutorial concluded. If you guys have any questions about this effect or how I did any of the things in this video, make sure to drop it down in the comments below. Drop a like and subscribe if you learn anything and thank you guys for watching.